I'm a little late with the holiday themed videos, but the answer is 364. 364 total gifts are given. If on the first day you get one gift, second day you get 2 plus 1, third day you get 3 plus 2 plus 1, and so on for 12 days total. You can, of course, get 364 by just adding everything up, or multiplying then adding, which is slightly faster. But a more interesting way to find the answer is this. Represent each gift with a cube. So on the first day, you get one cube, and by the end of that day, you have, well, one gift. And on the second day, you get two plus one cubes, and when you add on the first day's cubes, you now have this many cube slash gifts. On the third day, you get three plus two plus one, and then you add on the previous cubes, and you just keep doing this, and you can see the pattern. Eventually, we will get a stack of cubes shaped like this. This stack is 12 high, 12 long, and 12 thick, because 12 days of Christmas. So how many cubes are in this pile? This is not an easy question. If we were counting squares in this similar configuration, we could just copy it and form a rectangle. We can easily find the number of squares in this rectangle, so we can just divide by 2 to find the number of squares. And it looks like we can do the same thing with these cubes, but it turns out you can't. I'm not good enough at drawing to make a diagram, so you'll just have to take my word on it. These two things don't fit together the same way squares do. So what are we going to do then? This pile of cubes is shaped like a tetrahedron, but that doesn't do anything. Even though we know the formula for the volume of a tetrahedron, that won't work here, because this pile is only similar to a tetrahedron, not exact. So, if we want to use this formula, we need to somehow turn this into a perfect tetrahedron. We have another problem though. This formula gives us volume, but we want to count the number of cubes. So what we can do is say, each cube has side length 1. That way, the volume of each cube is 1. So, the number of cubes will be exactly equal to the volume and we'll be able to use the formula. So now, here's the clever part of the solution. See all these cubes on the outside? They are what's preventing us from using the tetrahedron formula. We need to make the surface smooth somehow. So what we do is, take each of these outside cubes, cut a small tetrahedron off, glue it to the top so that a smooth surface is formed, and if you do this to each and every one of these outside cubes, the entire surface will become smooth. This, again, takes some visualization, and yes, it is a visual proof, even though I didn't really provide too many visuals. You can fill in the gaps. See, it's not clickbait. Anyway, you'll notice that there's still some leftover gaps at the bottom, so let's just fill those in with more tetrahedrons. And now we can apply the formula. This tetrahedron has height 13, length 13, and width 13, so we can plug these into the formula. We don't get 364, but remember we need to subtract away the 13 small tetrahedrons that we added in. Now the volume is the same as the pile of cubes we started with, so we have our answer. If you look closely, you'll realize that this expression can be simplified a little bit. In general, the amount of cubes in the pile is n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 divided by 6. n is the height, width, and length of this pile of cubes, so in our scenario, n was 12. Now that we have our general formula, we can actually come up with an even more clever proof. We notice that n times n plus 1 plus n times 2 is the amount of cubes in this rectangular prism. So, if you split the rectangular prism into 6 piles of cubes, like this, and notice that each pile is basically this pile but rearranged, then, well, each pile must have the amount in the rectangular prism divided by 6. So that's another way to find this formula. Side note, I didn't come up with this and I have no idea how someone did. But yeah, this is the formula. You can just plug in n equals 12 for 12 days of Christmas and get back the total number of gifts. And you can plug in any other number for n as well. By the way, these numbers are called tetrahedral numbers because this shape is called a tetrahedron. And here are the first few tetrahedral numbers, all of which can be found using the formula. That's all I have for you today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.